Hello everybody and welcome back to Off The Cuff Gaming. I am your fearless host Matt and today we are diving into a blind playthrough of a new game that I have never played but a series I am very familiar with. The Mass Effect series as you can see on the screen. Um, I attempted to make a quick video but I got bogged down in the menus. I got my settings adjusted so now we should be good to go and we should be able to launch straight into the game. All right, here we go. Quick start. Scott Ryder, Sarah Ryder. We're going to do custom. Okay, I got to get back in here. I want to... Ryder's helmet off in conversations. That's what I want. I think we'll enable subtitles because that's what the, that's what people seem to like when they watch these. Excuse me. All right, it looks all right on the uh, on the recording here, so I think we're gonna go ahead and start. All right, we're gonna go to customize character. Writer's decisions can have lasting consequences. Choose carefully. So let's see, choose gender. Let's play as let's play as a, a male character since I'm a male. We'll play we'll go back there and play as a female character next time. Um let's see, choose okay, customize appearance. Do we like the way this guy looks here? Let's customize it. I gotta go with this one here. Let's go with hair. All right. Let's go to hair color. I right, like that there. I like that. 
Uh, that's fine. Same. Oh, customize appearance. Shoot. Uh, here. Let's make sure our eyes. Try to make it like my eyes, which are pretty blue. He kind of looks like me from 25 years ago. <laughs> Wait, the camera's right there, not up there. I moved it. Alright, makeup. No, we don't need any makeup. Uh, scar tissue. I don't like scars. I don't like tattoos either. I have nothing against them, I just don't like them for me personally. Or my characters. All right, confirm. Uh, yeah, let's check that button there. Choose training. All right, let's see. Training selection security. During your Alliance military service, you focused on learning everything you could about weapons and tactics. Starting power, concussive shot. Okay, we know what that is. Uh, fires a heat-seeking high-impact round to knock down opponents. And then unlocked skills. Turbocharge grants a massive short-term boost of weapon fire rate and thermal clip efficiency. Combat fitness grants increased durability and the option to carry more weapons. About. Okay, so this is kind of like the uh, the soldier. Okay, gotcha. Alright, biotic. We know what biotic is. Um, you were effectively designated biotic during your Alliance military team, assisting your cohorts and your ability to control mass effect fields. Starting power is throw. Throw, throw your biotic powers to hurl an opponent through the air, and then we can we can unlock singularity and barrier. Okay, so I, while I am blind playthrough with this game and never play this game, I am familiar with the Mass Effect mythology and the Mass Effect universe, so I understand what these skills are. Um, singularity is a very powerful um, field. Okay, technician. This looks like it's this looks like it's the engineer. As a technician in the Systems Alliance military, you learn to operate drones. Yeah, and hack into systems. Okay, so we get overload. And then we unlock Invasion. Hack into your opponent's armor and weapons, and infecting them with a computer virus to weaken their defenses, even spread to their weapons. Interesting. That's interesting. Develop specialized... And team support. Develop specialized technology to bolster the survivability of your entire squad. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Leader. Energy drain. Annihilation. What's Annihilation? Weave a shifting aura of mass effect fields around your... Slowly damage. So it's kind of like... Oh, Annihilation is a skill that was in the multiplayer for the for the N7 Fury character. Alright, awesome. I really like that. That was one of my favorite characters in the in the multiplayer in Mass Effect 3. Team support. Develop specialized technology to bolster the survivability of your entire squad. Okay, so that's similar to the technician. Alright, I like both of those so far. Scrapper. Like a vanguard, probably? Yeah, charge, combat, fitness, charge. What? Okay, uh, I think security seems to be pretty... We, technician or leader, what do we want? Energy drain and annihilation. So that's a tech and a bi biotic. I, I really want to use this invasion, though. Alright, we're going to be a technician. Choose name. Uh, let's see, we need to use the keyboard here. We're going to be Matt. We're not going to be Scott. We're going to be Matt. Customize twin. Yeah, that's fine. Inheric Alec Ryder appearance. Okay, we'll do we'll do inherit. Okay. Okay. 
customize history. Commander Shepard was male. Okay. Right, we we are a customer appearance. We are a technician, Matt Ryder. Our twin is a default appearance. Alec Ryder appearance is uh, inherits our customized appearance. And in the Mass Effect universe, uh, Shepard was male. Shepard was John Shepard. All right, confirm and start. Let's let's go. Oh, okay, um, character. We okay I, again. For those of you who know me, I'm not a big on doing. What should I say? Uh, achievement. I'm not an achievement person, even though I did complete all of the stuff in Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, including the Insanity playthrough on that. Um, I, I like the stories. So with five difficulties here, I'm not going to play on these two. I'm sorry. I just, I just don't. I don't feel like I need to prove anything to anybody. I'm sorry. I, I play games for the stories, less for the, less for the gameplay, more for the story. Uh, let's see. Narrative. Challenge level is very low. We don't. Let's. Different for players are inexperienced with shooters. Somewhat reduced. Baseline Mass Effect combat experience. All right, let's just do normal. That's fine. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Kind of excited actually. That's I've talked so bad about this game for so many years, and now I'm now we're now we're playing it. Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are all of us leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. It looks a little too bright. I'm gonna adjust the settings when we get back in the game here. Actually, can I do that now? In the year 2185, humanity lives in a golden era of interstellar travel. Our discovery of ancient alien ruins on Mars propelled our understanding of science and technology ahead of by thousands of years. While many now enjoy a newfound freedom on challenge and challenges of exploration of the Milky Way, others look to even more distant stars. For the hundreds, hundred thousand adventure, adventurers embarking on this one-way voyage, the future begins in Andromeda. Mass Effect Andromeda. Okay, so 2185, so that's a year before the events of Mass Effect 3. Okay, so this takes place in between. Yeah, I definitely need to... Uh, I definitely need to... 634 years later. Oh, all right. So we, there was no, uh, nothing. There's just a straight jump ahead. The Ark Hyperion occupancy 20,000 human colonists. Andromeda Galaxy, Destination, Habitat 7, and uh, Helios Cluster.
Deep breaths. You're gonna wanna take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get him a cup of coffee first? The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of Arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Tone choice. Tone choices help define Ryder's personality. The heart is emotional, the gear is logical, casual is a little spinny thing, and the professional is that sensible. I hope not. I signed up for a little adventure before we settled down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah. Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Taparo. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? Ah, I just need a second to get my bearings. What's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still live. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? I'm ready to get to it. Readings confirmed. I detect an increased level of adrenaline in your system. The neural implant is functioning properly. Caffeine always did make me jumpy. You're all done. Let's get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your sister, it always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get- Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Sarah Ryder. What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. Well, it looks like some sort of power surge hit the stasis pod. Ryder? Is my sister okay? Sarah's fine. Her vitals are strong. But the revival procedure was interrupted. I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry. It just means the process could take a bit longer than usual. Sam? My connection to Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low-level coma for a while. 
and let her body regain consciousness naturally. She'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. You keep us updated. Uh, Ryder, I'll wait for you at the Cora, door whenever you're ready to go. This blonde gal, she Not reminds me of it. that character in Scrubs. Denise? She was a med student in season eight, or seasons uh, eight and nine. Who's this? Hello, Hayes. How are you? It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Right up until you lose gravity. Still in stasis. Vitals look good. Standard nutrient package. See how their system. What else can we talk to here? What else can we find? What's down here? Anything down here? I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. I see the quest marker here. We'll try to explore around, and see what we can find out before. Uh... All right. So holding. All right. So that's very similar to Horizon Zero Dawn. You can press that left trigger, or left stick down, data pad. That's what we got here. Attention, Hyperion, Hyperion personnel. After a 600-year voyage, the good news is that we're where we're supposed to be. We have arrived in the Helios Cluster at the Andromeda Galaxy, year 2819. All stasis medical personnel should report for duty immediately. Give the Pathfinder, Pathfinder mission team re revival priority and prep its members for field reconnaissance. Reports of an unusual celestial phenomenon in the cluster are being investigated. Updates to follow. Captain Dunn. Okay, so I'm assuming that, that Any more coffee around here? phenomenon is what You're hit us there. You're a Pathfinder team, aren't you? Yeah. Then I'd say you've had enough. No time for pit stops. All right, another data pad. Message from Jen Carson. Hello, traveler, uh, and welcome to your first day in, in, in Andromeda. In Andromeda, this is the dawn of a new era for all of us. As you recover from stasis, know that you're in good hands. In a few short hours, you'll be leaving the Hyperion and joining thousands of your fellow colonists as you chase your fortunes and build your new life you've always dreamed about. It's been a long way, but I promise you it'll be worth it. Jen Carson, or Garson, founder and Drama Initiative. This looks broken. Alright, Fisher. Like what? Something big? Those generators are hardened. Take a hell of a lot Kirk, let me talk to you. Nobody wants to talk. Alright, I guess we'll go here. What's wrong? Malfunction. Hey, up here! Whatever hit the arc fried everything. We have to balance the power loader and explode. We don't know where the fault is. Ryder can find it. He has a scanner. Quick, Ryder, use it to locate the fault. On it. I'll try to get readings on the second conduit. I'll try yeah. to run a diagnosis. I'll override the safety. Got it. We don't have much time. Hurry! Ryder, try scanning the whole conduit. Look for the this equipment is operating normally. Power surge is getting it has, worse. There's no indication of a fault in this. Relay 2C shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it. Bad relay. Ryder, can you go reset it? There. It's reset. Let's do it. Rerouting the current now. It's working. Not really sure what I did. Good there. job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. Head to the tram. <sighs> that was close. You okay? Barely in Andromeda, and we're already scrambling. The adventure begins. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Go ahead and take us to the bridge.
kind of getting some passenger vibes too. That movie with uh, Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence. Helm control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed golden world. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? Uh, hmm. You know, I... All right. She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My God. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. She's right. It looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can change. It's been 600 years. Sam. The energy from the phenomenon is damping our senses. Planetary conditions are unknown. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? He cares in his own way. Enough to give him a chance. I suppose you're right. He is our Pathfinder. If this doesn't work out, we'll need him more than ever. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. Yeah, it looks like there's some kind of a... I don't know. Something, something's definitely going on with that planet. My sister's gonna hate that she missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in her blood. She beat me into the world by one minute. Couldn't wait to get started. Well, don't worry. I'm sure Sarah will pull through. When she does, she's got a lot of stories. So, let's get out there and find her some. Right, you'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock. Pathfinder Team Field Manual Introduction. Uh, as a path, as a member of Path Team, uh, blah, blah, blah. as a member of the Pathfinder Team, you play a critical role in the Andromeda Initiative's efforts to establish a foothold in the new galaxy. The team faces many challenges: Golden World site verification, reconnaissance and mapping of unknown territories, planetary and celestial, scientific analysis and discovery of new phenomenon, 
potential first contact with extraterrestrials, establishing di diplomatic relations with local inhabitants, general support f of settlement outposts. Okay. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. Hey, Ryder. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. Your dad say anything about what's going on? Tough to say. Sensors can't get a read on the planet. Well, at least it keeps things interesting. Yeah, it'd be a shame to go through all this training and not put it to good use. See you guys in the ride down. Okay. That's the radio. Metagel kit. What's this? Uh, first contact protocol. In the event of a, any member of the, path, uh, the Pathfinder team encounters intelligent alien life, it is imperative that first contact protocols be strictly observed. The Andromeda Initiative holds the principles of peace and cooperation among our highest ideals. Aggressive action against extraterrestrials is only permitted when hostile intent is clearly demonstrated and Pathfinder team members are at obvious risk of injury or death. So it's kind of like Star Trek. Hang in there, Sarah. Looks like Dad's already suited up. Better not. No bathroom breaks on this trip. Okay. <laughs> so just another boring day at the office, huh? The most complicated voyage anyone's ever attempted. Something's bound to go wrong. It's a good test to see what we're made of. I always wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. <laughs> well, if they made it, we can too. And maybe see a dragon along the way. Never know. Let's keep an eye out. And our distance. <laughs> On that note, I'd better get my gear in order. We scanned Andromeda. Everything was in the clear. Got it. That should do it. The Pathfinder is now requiring side arms. I've opened the armaments locker. We expecting trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. Hope right. I won't need this. All right. So I got a Predator pistol. Report to the hangar bay. All right. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand, and if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. If it's what we hope it is, it'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step? I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent given the situation. Oh, seven. We'll be short-handed with Sarah out. I heard what happened. Your sister's strong. She'll make it. Uh, she's your, also your daughter? We bet on whose boots would hit the ground first. This isn't how I wanted to win. <laughs> well, knowing Sarah, she'll want to go double or nothing on who climbs the tallest mountain. But don't let it get you down. I need you sharp. I understand. Your mom would have been proud. Of both of you. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate. But because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, 
And they will. They'll remember we didn't give up. That we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. I like this music. Been waiting 600 years for this. tracks. It appears to be an unstable mass of dark energy. Dark energy. If you say so, steer clear of it. Gravity anomalies detected. See if I can even it out. My stomach would appreciate that. We're clear. Accelerating to cruising speed. Ryder, we didn't have a chance to meet back in the Milky Way. Name's Liam Costa, security and response specialist. Good to meet you, Liam. Hard to believe we're finally doing this. Sure beats reading the brochures. We're getting our deceleration. Planet's dead ahead. It's malfunctioning. Get it working! Approaching terminal velocity. Sam! How's your survival training? 
I've seen my share Even of troubles. Unlocked first contact. That'd be crazy, but... Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Terra Incognita. Some of these plants look like tentacles. Is the water here even water? <sighs> no fixing this. Must have broken on impact. Explains why we lost our sound connection. Oh, and safety tip. Don't breathe the air. Found that out the hard way. Got it. I think that energy cloud we saw could cause all this. Sam said it's dark energy, but that's in space. Yeah, hell of a cloud. The cloud that makes boulders float. Uh, what the hell is this? Come on, we gotta get through it. Welcome to Habitat 7! Keep moving! Ah! Look safer under there! Is this for real? What the hell's going on with this place? How's your gun? Might want to see if it's working. Take a shot at that fuel cell. It's busted anyway. Look, something flying around in the sky. Oh. Well, wow. here be dragons. Cora will love it. I'd say it's working. Get up that cliff, we find high ground. Come on! Not sure we want to be the tallest thing around here. I think I can see a path up. We'll use the jump jets if we have to. Into the breach! Think I'd rather fall than get hit by lightning. Give it a minute. We can probably do both. <laughs> How'd my dad find you? I was a cop. Made crisis response. Yeah? Tell you over a beer sometime. This is gonna be close! That's it. We're getting there. Press A while sprinting to jump long distances. Okay. I think I see the top. Hold A as you jump to a ledge to grab it and pull yourself up. Okay. Simple enough. Am I making some room? Thanks. This guy's gonna die, isn't he? What the hell is that? Not a hotel, that's for sure. Nothing around here makes any sense. New galaxy, new ways to die. Just not today. Ryder, it's Fisher. Wait. Look.
Say the word and I go halt. They haven't spotted us yet. Shit! They see Fisher! Uh, I, I don't understand! Nyan, shoot it! He sees us! We can't understand you! Give us our man, or this gets ugly! Gunshot! What's the other gun? Nyan, shoot it! Talking, I guess they didn't want to listen. What else could we do? You saved my life. Yeah, at least we know it's what. The brochures were light on aliens who want to shoot your head off. <sighs> we still don't even know what they wanted. The way they treated you? Blood samples, I'd say. Lots of them. This isn't how first contact was supposed to go. Or at least not how I imagined it. That's on them. Can't let it change us. Next time might go better. Yeah. The whole neighborhood can't be bad. Where are the others? Gone. Kirkland and Greer went looking for help. Come on. Ah, my leg! Can you move? I think it's broken. You guys push ahead and look for the others. You sure? Yeah. Just find us a ride out of here. And take a few more of them out while you're at it. Whoa. Take a look at these bodies. What are these things? Uh, scan the dead. Okay, so. Well, I don't have Sam here, but I can try to make sense of it. They're DNA based, and their armor reads as some kind of bone. But the genetics are all over the map. Huh. I guess life took a different turn here, huh? I hope the other team's okay. We'll find them. But we might want to scout around first. You're the recon specialist. Scanning unknown technology away. and life force energy right. research data points. Looks like Spend you knew how to handle the gun back there. Research center to unlock new Spent time with an Alliance peacekeeping force. Shield capacitor, severe ammo. Okay, take all.
was Kirkland. Is that the... No vital signs. Just shot him in cold blood. He was trying to surrender. Why kill him? Would we treat them any different if they showed up on Earth, armed to the teeth? Uh, maybe not. Peace isn't going to be an option here. We'll come back for his body once we find the other. There's... Hope Rhea's still alive somewhere. Still, take a look at this architecture. This is really something. centuries old. The Ox left 600 years ago, right? Yeah. Our long-range scans wouldn't have shown this. These structures, that tower, maybe none of it was here when we left the Milky Way. Okay, now this is weird. Even with these readings, I have no idea what it does. <laughs> Just imagine the mind that invented it. If that's even possible, evolution separated from ours by two million light years. Spooky when you put it that way. So only 10% of this is known. The xenon. I wish I didn't. Damn, watch out! What is this thing? I think it wants to eat us! Okay, it's dead. Whatever it was. How'd it cloak like that? It's organic. No sign of technology. Wow, so the cloaking is biological? Yeah, weird. going up over there. Could be our people. I'll mark the nav point. What do you suppose is down there? New and painful ways to die. Maybe we could jump jet our way across. Left trigger while airborne to hover for a short time. Is that sound coming from below? Uh, alien gods of the underworld? <laughs> Don't say that. I think it's machinery. You could feel the vibration. Oh, the scale of this. Who built it? Alien gods. Those aliens ahead. They 
be us. Here we go. Not much for talking, are they? No. Oh. Look out. They're using those animals. Careful. They're floating. This is for Kirkland. Guard a Mass Effect relay. Wish we'd had one for the Ox. I wonder what these guys were doing here. Crash of some kind. It's not one of our ships. Shotgun barrel. Okay, I'll take that. food. I think. Can't be local. Not growing anything on this planet. So maybe they're bringing it in from off-world? More of them in the cluster? Not loving that. scans were right this could have been home 600 years ago and then who knows if it's anything like plants back in the Milky Way there are signs of cellular mutation it's lasted this long guess that makes it the alpha tree huh yeah but what happened to all its friends outside Some sort of trap. Pretty recent, too. You suppose those aliens set it? If they did, they don't play nice with anyone. Well, maybe they're starving. on the left.
hear that? Yeah, radio static. But like a pattern. That static's getting louder. someone would notice. You okay? Yeah. Where are the others? They killed Kirkland. But Fisher's alive, back at the crash site. He's got a broken leg. Needs help. I'll check around for supplies. Then head back. Stay put when you get there. We'll look for my dad's shuttle. Good luck. Can't wait to get off this rock. Safe condition. Turned around there. Yeah, no one's living here. So what's it for? Doesn't look like the other structures we've seen. Different design. Must be a way to get some lights on. Sam right about now. Huh. What's all this about? You guessed it. Another weird alien machine. Huh. Figures. Only one way to find out. You mean turn it on? Nothing. What are you 
doing right? Oh shit. That can't be good. Oh. So the weird alien machine is a generator. Yeah, sure. Why wouldn't it be? Maybe it did something. Okay, so hey, that was that door open. Okay. Some kind of a stretch lab, is, but I'm gonna take it all. Maybe. Then it got hit by a tornado. Same language as those aliens. Wonder what... Weird. You hear that? Looks like they were trying to tunnel in. Don't think it turned out... Ugh! Watch it! What is it? Yes? There. So now killer robots, too? Huh. The guests back home would love this place. Doesn't say much, other than it's not organic. Old, though. Like centuries old. Like an automated god, maybe? Could be. Some serious energy on the other side of that door. Maybe it's... Whatever this is, it scans as being old. Centuries old. It's fried. Could... His wounds look like they're from an energy blast. Might have tangled with our robot friend there. Any theories, recon specialist? There's some kind of technology on this planet. Older. Underground. Something these aliens are interested in. Like archaeologists? Yeah. Weather's still crappy. Heads up! They were waiting for us! Damn! They got a lighting rod up and running! Are these things stalking us? Starting to feel like it! This is not how I go out! I don't think they're listening! There! Last one's down. Let's not wait around for more.
guys okay? Not dead yet! And when do rocks float? Just go with it! Oh, so that goes around boulders. Uh, uh, uh. Man, these guys know how to fight. Ah, damn shrapnel! Well, that sell that. Cavalry to the rescue. Nice to see you guys. Spend new skill points. Okay, uh, your squad is leveled up. Upgrade riders' combat abilities by purchasing combat tech or biotic skills. Let's upgrade him. <laughs> okay, we'll give him two of those. All right, um, I have three points. Omni grenade, I don't have that. Gust of shot, nine points, skills of us in combat. Whoops. Attack. Incinerate. Oh yeah, we want we want incinerate. Assault turret. Yeah, let's take that. Invasion. Oh, that's why I wanted to do this. Offensive attack. Let's try this. Okay. Okay, so I have overload, assault, turret, incinerate. Uh, well, well, we'll try invasion next. We'll we'll try overload, incinerate, and assault turret. Yeah, confirm. Not available. Something something's there that's not. Okay, let's check this out. Assault rifles. I have the Avenger. How do I, uh... Omni blade, pistol mods. Okay. How do we attach mods? So incendiary ammo is a, is a consumable, so a shield capacitor. Okay, research. Armor blueprints. Not sure what this stuff is. Initiative helmet. Looks like I have to have Omnigel, Iron, Cadium, Titanium. So there's stuff we gotta go find. 
All right, so resources. We've got salvage. No, I don't want to destroy it. Ah. Weapon blueprints. Oh, the Maddox. Sniper. Sniper. The Viper is a good one. Oh, the Widow. Sniper rifle. Nice. Codex. All right, so we could probably read a lot of this stuff here. The Andromeda Initiative. You know, we'll we'll do a Codex reading next time. Planet side. So we've done everything so far. I want to know how do I how do I attach pistol mods? I guess you have to be at a workbench, like we are in Mass Effect Three. Still in one piece. You got here just in time. Where's my dad? He went scouting ahead while we fixed the shuttle. Ryder, there's weapons and ammo at the shuttle. Stock up. Do these things try talking to you at all? Barely a word, then started shooting. What about you? All right. Uh, yeah, we well. tried being nice. They didn't play along.
that. Right. It's just these assholes kill Kirkland. I hear you, but this isn't the time to lose our cool. Now I feel better. What about the others? Fisher's wounded, but sitting tight. Greer's with him. There are shuttles in pieces. Guys. She's been hit! Don't worry, it's not contagious. Before they attacked, I... I managed to fix our comms. You're a lifesaver. Now just take it easy. Sam, are you there? QEC link established. Affirmative, Ryder. The Pathfinder needs to speak with you. Good to see you in one piece. What's our status? Liam and I are with Cora. We have wounded crew. The good news is our shuttle's been repaired. We can get back to the Ark. Not with these storms. It's too risky to fly. Our wounded can't wait much longer. Do you have something in mind? If the storm is the problem, then let's solve the problem. We're talking about weather. And I have an idea about that. Rendezvous with my coordinates will... Damn, they spotted me. Sir? Sir! Can you two manage alone? I can keep her stable. For a while. Let's move. Sam. Do you have the Pathfinder's position? Marking the nav point on your map. Doesn't look far. Let's make this quick. We have to get there before the storm hits. No detours. You go on ahead. What was my dad scouting Watch for? Out. He was trying to get readings on that tower. Well, the nav point puts him near it. Exercise caution. The storm front is already gaining intensity. Nice to have you back, Sam. How about some good news next time? Ryder, your dad was in trouble. We have to find him. We're gonna find the Pathfinder. Alright, hang on a second. How do I get the weapons wheel? Uh... Weapon not use, not use. What? Oh, combat. That's what I thought the weapons wheel was. right. We don't have much time. Look, the rot. They're drawing the lightning away. If we hug that wall, they might keep us safe. Dead bodies here. Lightning didn't do this. Incendiary rounds. My dad's been busy. He was an N7. They don't mess around. Somebody was pretty clever with these rods. Only way to survive here. We're close. The half point shows my dad's up there. Sir. Stay low. Found an abandoned lab, like they've been studying the place. Good work. 
You actually did some scouting. It's why we came all this way, isn't it? Exploring the unknown, you said. Glad that sunk in, because some days it's easy to forget. <laughs> Tell me about it. Sir, you said you had an idea about the weather? It's the dark energy cloud the Hyperion hit. It's affecting the whole planet. Interfering with that. The tower is caught in a feedback loop with the clouds. Together they're disrupting the entire climate with undirected energy. It would explain a cave we found. Plant life sheltered from the storm. From that tower. It's a good bet. And I think if we can get in there and shut the tower down, the lightning goes away. And the shuttle can get us out of here, in theory. We just have to get past them. It's a hell of a gamble. But we won't know until we get in there and try. No illusions about this. It'll be a nasty fight the whole way. If the riders are game, so am I. But we risk turning a skirmish with these guys into something worse. It's them or us. Oh, it's them. The problem is we're outnumbered. I've been working on that. We just need to change the math.
almost fried me! Well, Docs, if we fall behind, we're dead. Shit, they're crack shots! Come on, into the building! Sam, give me engineer profile. On me! Sir, where are you getting these profiles? Little help from Sam. What does that mean? Just focus on the fight. The storm's getting worse. We'll lose our chance if we don't beat it. Come on! from above. We're almost there. The storm just took one of them out. Hell yeah. Lightning's finally... This looks like a control center. Keep him off my back. You heard him. We made it. In one piece. Not over yet. I need to get through that door over there. your old man, huh? I won't tell anyone. Come on. These are the moments that make it all worthwhile. <laughs> that is true. Sam, begin 
translating. A moment. Indexing. Translation complete. Let's see what we have. Sunsets. Let's get back to the shuttle and is overloading. I suggest a hardwire connection. Do it! There! Welcome back. What happened? You were clinically dead for 22 seconds. What? Did the rest of the team make it? Hey, you're still with us. Guys, get to Sam Node. Riders awake. Who are you talking to? Sam. I didn't hear him. You're up. Look here. And here. My father. Where? It was your life or his, and he chose you. I'm so sorry. I know this must be a blow. He made the ultimate sacrifice. He got the team out of danger. We all owe him for that. He once said that when his time came, he wanted to go out among stars no one had seen before. 
That definitely happened. What are we doing in Sam, Node? Sam is now part of you. In a way we don't entirely understand. It played havoc with your brain. Sam? Your father authorized the transfer of Pathfinder authority to you. Shouldn't that be Korra? In theory. In reality, you're the new Pathfinder. You can't be serious. What's the matter? I think you're up for it. You saw my dad in action. It takes years to become a Pathfinder. You'll learn as you go. Besides, you won't be doing this alone. It's all academic anyway. Sam's linked to your mind on a deeper level now. Trying to untangle it could kill you. I know this is tough, but we need to start thinking about the next step. A lot of people are counting on us. Is the Ark still drifting? That's the thing. Whatever your dad did with that tower, it saved the day. Some sort of atmosphere scrubber. The energy cloud thinned out. We're on our way to the rally point now. Should be at the Nexus soon. He needs to rest first. He's got two hours. We'll need our Pathfinder for this. Oh, I checked on your sister. There's still no change. But if you can pull through, so can she. A bit of your dad in both of you. Your father will be missed. What's going on, Sam? This is our private channel. I shared it with him. Why did he do it? Why me? Unknown. But he never acted without reason. Alec wouldn't want us to lose sight of the goal. He said pain emboldens our resolve. He'd insist we grow stronger from his passing. Pathfinder. They kind of look like similar to Turians. Ryder, good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. It's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda Initiative. The Asari, Solarian, and Turian Arcs should be there too. Let's hope they've had better luck. Starting our approach now. 
It's almost as big as the Citadel back home. Nexus Control, this is Arc Hyperion, requesting docking clearance. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel. Not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in. Looks abandoned. Like no one's here yet. Construction should have been finished by now. Could be worse. How? Habitat 7's a bust. We might have started a war with the first aliens we met, and our Pathfinder's dead. This better be rock bottom. Green across the board. Docking initiated. All right. I got us here. Good luck, Pathfinder. He gonna be okay, Ryder? The captain just called me Pathfinder. This is really happening. Just take a deep breath. I still can't believe Dad's dead. This should have been his moment. But now it's yours. You just need to decide what you're gonna do with it. Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. We weren't ready to fall out of the sky on Habitat 7. But we survived that. Be advised, right. So, always keep a jump jet handy. Okay, um, let's go ahead and save the game. The game cannot be manually saved during a priority mission. Auto saving occurs on... I can't save it right now? Alright. Guess we'll wait until we get to a save point. Captain wants to see a full duty roster. I just updated the charts. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew. Just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. Means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one? After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Here we are. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. Fortune awaits? What is the Nexus? 
The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization effort. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? The gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3? Or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Hmm. Plants are still alive. It's like they didn't finish building it. Hello? There's a guy. Maybe he's got champagne. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an arc? This is the Nexus, right? Pretty sure we parked in the right place. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. Of course, I'm sorry. It's just, we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. I'm Tyrion Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. Well, I've got a shipload of people that says we're here. Of course, it's just... you're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are gonna be a real problem. We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. 
Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. Not as much as it means to us. We had one hell of a time getting here. Nice to see some friendly faces. Hungry faces. Any supplies you can spare would be appreciated. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at him. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources, but that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? I may not have been the first choice, but I'm ready for this. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. That is the smallest it's nothing personal, Krogan but I've now isn't seen. the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. Thank you for standing up for me there. Hmm. Hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance Ma to- Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Okay. All right. We finally reached a point where we could save. So we're, that's going to do it for this uh, playthrough here on uh, on Off the Cuff Gaming of a Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, lots of stuff happening here in the uh, the first two hours of gameplay. Well, yeah, right at two hours here on the clock here. So um, very interesting story so far. Uh, looks like there's a lot more going on than just the simple go to a new galaxy and settle some worlds. So some of the worlds aren't panning out. Um, our father uh, sacrificed himself so we could live, and now we've got to find a way to keep this, the Nexus, operating with power. So, yeah, lots of stuff going on. So, um, ne in the next gameplay video, which we'll I'll probably do tomorrow, we're going to uh, go around the Nexus here, talk to some people, see what we can find out. Um, I need to see how we can uh, modify our weapons. I got some weapon mods, but I couldn't put them on my weapon. Maybe it's like Mass Effect 3 and you need a workbench to do that. So I have to look into that. So if anybody knows that, feel free to leave a comment down below and uh, let me know. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. We're going to continue our blind playthrough of Mass Effect and Drama. My plan is to do one video a day. 
uh, for uploads. And uh, if, if, if I can manage that with my time, if not, we'll try to do it every other day. We're going to do this until we beat the game. And then we'll see where the where everything takes us next. Um, as a note for the channel, we are still going through Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and we're going to be looking to add a third game. I think we're going to go back and do either Thief or Tomb Raider 2013. So anyway, thank you for watching. Again, please subscribe, like the, like this video, and so you can get notified. Uh, click the bell, and you'll get more videos as soon as I upload them. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll talk to you later. Have a nice day.